tone of the action is such a great part of John Wick. No longer takes complexity footwork. We wanted a project that let us do something a little bit more from the human side of things. Instead of just training an actor to do choreography, we just made Keanu pretty much one of the choreographers, one of our stuntmen. We pushed him harder than I think we've ever pushed anybody. You'll see him take his own falls, his own rolls. You'll see him do his own reloads. You'll see him unjam and jam a weapon. You'll see him do all his own disarms. You'll see him drive his car. You'll see him hit things with a car when it's really Keanu Reeves. So we kind of threw away the actor thing and just trained him as a stunt guy. That was always the mantra. He's going to roll the camera, and it's going to roll for 30 seconds and see how many people you can hose down with that pistol in 30 seconds. That's demanding. It's really demanding, as movie fighting goes. We talked a lot about how could we make this one bigger and meaner, and we settled on the idea that, that we need to make Keanu better, hence the long training period for Keanu Reeves. So as I put the suit back on, I went back into training. That stunt team has a lot of experience training actors. Whatever it is, he embraces it full heartedly. He just goes full throttle the whole way. I would find it difficult to get a 50-year-old man in that kind of combat-ready state, except Keanu. I think Keanu wants to live that life of, this is who I am. And I think he brings that every time we rehearse and every time we train. Yeah, I mean, I'm older, so it's harder. Show off. And you have more technique, so that helps keep balancing it out. The age is winning, of course, but the techniques are helping me get by. The more I can do and the more confidence that Chad and the stunt team have in me, then they go, okay, now let's give him some more responsibility. Oh, you can do that? Oh, cool. Okay, well, what about that? Ah, oh, shoot, I can't quite do that. Train him. Keanu trains on the weekends. He trained for four or five months before the movie started shooting. And I don't mean like once a week, like every day, four or five hours a day. The great thing about Keanu is he's super committed. When there's training to be done, he's going to do it. And he shows up early to train and works as hard as possible. As you get deeper and deeper into training, you get less and less normal life, which I enjoy the focus of it. My friends are like, where did you go? And I'm like, I'm in the training paradigm. I really enjoy the physical side of it. I'm a Virgo. I like tasks. I like a puzzle. I like trying to get good at something. So it's fun to do the physical stuff, figure it out, and try and be great at it. I started training two years after the release of the first one, so the weapon stuff came back pretty quick. That muscle memory, the judo not so much. I've gone out to some of the best instructors to enrich Keanu Reeves, to get him better at what it is we're gonna do in the movie. We just went to town training him on 14 or 15 great judo moves, aki jitsu moves, and then really upped his jujitsu game, like spent a lot of time grappling. So we brought the masters in, the Machado brothers, just so we can get the best knowledge. They'd come in and see his jujitsu training. A great honor to have the Machado brothers come to 8711. I love John Wick. I think it was one of the best fight scenes I've ever seen. I believe for me it was the first movie which you see the mix of good martial arts so well put together. What we did with Keanu, I start to see his knowledge. He's already very sharp in techniques. And we start trying to improve the transitions. And like somebody come on top of him, he escape quick and go grab the neck, and boom, break. In every position he know how to escape, how to set up, how to counter attack, and how to do the submission. He have that focus, that determination, everything perfect is very impressive. It was basically just like an hour with them, and they each taught me one technique. Everything was breath and flow. When are you slow? When are you fast? Is your breath while that's happening. That's why I'm here today, bring you what we know best. Um, that's always with me, like, you know, I, that's part of the, how we talk now, let's get the flow. And... We wanted the audience watching our lead cast, who actually went through the training and got to do the action itself. The stunt team is built on mastery. They want A-plus level work. And that's what I strive for. I strive for excellence. It's really kind of neat to be meeting these wonderful performers and artists who are like, yeah, we want to play. Casting was another one of those great parts that had a couple great character moments and had a lot of action. So we didn't want to go out and cast just a stuntman or a cast member that's really defined action. We'd rather find someone very interesting who had a great character attribute to him and then train them as we did with Keanu. 
I knew that these are stunt guys that are the best in the industry. And they just really great at what they do. So the opportunity to work with Keanu Reeves, and once they put Rome on the map too, it was like, I need to be in John Wick too. Common's like, let's train, man. We gotta do John Wick style. And I'm like, yeah, man, right on. So he's been training and training and training guns and jujitsu and going through the Wick program. I've been learning a whole lot, and I have to say, it's like learning a new language. And I love getting to do the work, and it's hard work. You know, some days you go home and your neck is messed up for a week, but you know, it's no time to cry or whine when you're working with 8711. I can remember being like, hey, you know, I messed up my neck. Uh, it's a strain or something going on, and you know, I can barely turn it. It's like, okay, cool, Just stretch it out. And then we got back into putting me in the headlocks and stuff. I was like, okay, all right, this is what we're doing. Ruby's going through the WIC program. Welcome to WIC. I said to Chad, how much of this am I going to do and how much is going to be a stunt double? And he's like, you can do as much or as little as you want. I think he knew then already that I was signing up to do as much as humanly possible. We really took a look at what her background was. So we worked with my strengths, which are boxing and martial arts. And so we really used her skill set. And that way it was a little easier when you're training somebody to not have to start from the beginning. He was like, what's the point of teaching you something you've never done before? When we can teach you with your boxing how to just take that to another level. Heidi knew all of the choreography and then we'd work together together on, and she would teach me the safety kind of elements of it. Our fight scenes is so intense and there were so many different moves and we choreographed it three different styles and we're in a mirror room and of course Chad wanted to keep revising it so it was almost like an improv like it really was like we were fighting because half the time we were like are we going with the uppercut or are we going with the oh well I don't know let's just do this. <laughs> With the training, you learn about the cooperation, how to fake fight, and how to do long takes, yeah. and like, if there's a kind of reality to it, but it's also a dance. It's sort of a pleasure when you get to work with one of the guys you're used to working with. It's sort of like a dance when you do a fight, and if someone's a tiny bit off, the other person makes up for it a little bit, and you work together. Some of the guys, you know, Jackson, Danny, all these guys, I mean, I know if I ever fight them, we're always gonna be on, because we'll make up for each other's mistakes. And I realized that Keanu has picked that up. I could tell that he was dancing with me from the beginning. I was so impressed. 